Hello dear researchers, I hope you are doing great. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to compute the confidence intervals of Likert scale survey or questions or items depending on your objective. So uh, confidence intervals measure the degree or probability of uh, a certain sampling method uh, concerning its lower and upper limits with regard to the mean uh, so if we want to do this using a spaces we can either uh, let's say compute the confidence intervals of one item like this that is coded from uh, strongly disagree to strongly agree or we can even compute uh, the whole uh, Likert scale uh, let's say items or the mean score of Likert scale like this so but this the second method is going to uh, you know require you to compute the overall mean score you can just look for this on the channel you will find a video on how you can calculate the mean score of the whole Likert scale so let's start with the first technique that is computing the like just you know the confidence intervals of just one item of the Likert scale of many or many items so I'm going to go to analyze and descriptive statistics and then explore I'm going to move the item that I want to calculate it's let's say uh, whose uh, confidence intervals need to be calculated like this uh, and then go to statistics keep the descriptives I can just change the confidence interval for mean either 95 or 99 percent okay click continue for plots and can choose none for box plots steam and leaf can be unticked and normally plots with test uh, are, you know this option is uh, chosen click continue and click ok so let's say this is the confidence interval as you can see for the this uh, item I regularly assign English homework for my students or to my students whatever uh, to practice what has been taught in class as you can see here the lower bound is 4.04 .04, the higher bound the upper bound is 4.46 means this mean is very is great so this means that the majority of the respondents may agree with this item uh, since the the lacquer scale is coded from one strongly disagree to five strongly agree okay so this is how we can calculate the mean score of one lacquer scale item we can just uh, uh, do this for many items if we want to do them separately that is if we want to get the confidence intervals of each item in the Likert scale separately but if we want to compute also the whole or the overall Likert scale item once uh, computed this way we can just uh, follow the same procedure we go to analyze uh, descriptive stats explore and then move the uh, the overall mean score of the Likert scale so in for this one for this method you need to check the other videos on how to compute the overall scale or the overall mean score of Likert scale it's very important so once you get it you move it you go to plots you can just keep you know because the the memory remembers the settings so just go and click OK and this is the output so the confidence interval at 95 percent lower bound upper bound so i can change this uh, let's say confidence interval from 95 to 99 so i can show you how we can go back to the species file questionnaire go to analyze descriptive stats explore and go to not in plots there is another option here in statistics and we can put 9 here we can change it to 99 click OK click OK again so here it is so confidence interval at 99% okay, so this is how we go about calculating this and changing the values of the confidence levels okay so then uh, we can report this data using Microsoft Office Word just by copying and pasting the work to Microsoft Office Word. If you have questions or remarks, do not hesitate to post, to post them below or contact me via one of my social media. And see you in another tutorial. Bye for now.